Here we go. Master of Sakatra qualifier. Master of Sakatra 2 qualifier. And we've got T90 official against Margugu. And T90 immediately trying to push the Zebra. He knows what's happening here. And he should probably know that the Eagle is going to be wandering around looking for his elephant. Now, you only have one elephant in Sakatra. So I'm honestly surprised that T90 did not go out for this right away. Because he's up against the Mayans, and here he comes right now. He's going to try and delay with this and going to try and get the first hit. And he does get the first hit. And the elephant is chasing him. Great play there by T90. So he's going to get this elephant in. And uh, Margugu is going to have to settle for killing these zebra. And I love the way he's even pushing these further away with the eagle and then shooting them. So it's even further from T90's uh, home TC. T90 is going to be able to push this final one in. A bit sloppy there for Margugu to not deny that. But uh, he's going to miss out on these three. If he wants to take him, he's going to have to go drop a mill there. But for only three zebra, maybe not worth it. There'll be two under his TC. Have this elephant as well. And then on Margugu's side, he already has the elephant. Sending another villager forward to lame the berries, probably. And uh, he's got all these available that he can push in, too. T90 already sending villagers out here. He wants to take care of this vill from Margugu, and he's sending three vills out. And uh, Margugu is going to keep trying to lame here with this villager. But this is a lot of idle time. He's actually... Oh my god, he's sending the barn. He's sending the barn. These players are 11 and 10 pop, respectively. And he's sending like half of his eco out here to fight this. And he's going to be able to push T90 away from these berries. But this is a lot of idle time for Margugu. And I don't even think he's going to kill a villager here. He's not. So I don't know if this is worth it at all. Even with starting th with the extra villagers as Mayans. Maybe it's worth it because T90 made a mill here. Already invested that 100 wood. But we'll see. He still has access to all this stuff. And he's looping another villager around to try and seal this off. T90 now attacking the house. He seems confused as to what he should do here. Margugu is going to get away with that villager. T90 has not lost a villager yet either. Though that might change right here. No, he's going to get that one away. And his villager has been walled in now. And he's going to try and take out that house. And this is a lot of idle time here for Margugu. He's actually going for a mill in between the gold mines to get those zebra. He's probably going to pull these villagers back to take those. And good villager micro here from T90 to pull this one away. Trying to save this one, but he's not going to be able to. Great blocks there from the Frenchman. Eagle will go down. This villager is weak. And T90 is going to lose another one here. Oh my god, he's down two vills. He's down two vills. The villager micro is not there yet today. And we can see that reflected in the total economy score. A little bit of idle TC time there for Margugu. And he's going to lose the villager now too. So great stuff. And there goes the house for him. On this side, we have more villagers running away. He's still got a villager chasing here. T90 won't be able to kill that. I think it'll get away on time. And he has access to these berries now. But more villagers coming forward from Margugu. And he's got the advantage over here. Now he's walling in the villagers from T90. But he's still got two on the food there. Meanwhile, at home... I guess this is his home. But under the TC, we've got... Five villagers working on the goats. And the food eco just isn't there yet from T90. And he lames this zebra. <laughs> and now he's going over to the berries from Margugu. But look at the villager advantage here. We've got six from Margugu. We've got four only from T90. On this side, T90's trying to escape here. Margugu's still trying to wall him in. More TC idle time for Margugu. It's only been one second for Tristan. And he's got four vills queued, so he's not going to accumulate that much more. And that means that the villager count is actually even because of this. T90 also taking food from over here. Margugu is still hanging around with the villagers. 
Does T90 have a scout? He does, but it's only 5 HP, so it's 2 hits away from death. And T90 sends another batch of fresh vills. Freshly made vills. Dave sounds sick? No! Suspicious user. Vegeto. Vegito. Dude, you always pop up as a suspicious user, and I don't know. I don't know why. <laughs> you always do. <laughs> You're sus, dude. You're sus. On this side, Margugu might lose the villager here. T90 trying to block, and she goes down. And now it's Margugu's turn to try and block this villain. That villain's gonna die. Can't save it. Just abandon that position. Margugu was also healing up his eagle in the TC, which is great. Over on this side, T90's trying to get in with more vills. He's got 300 food in the bank. Margugu trying to wall in these vills. He's going to get maybe one of them? No, he's not even going to get that. But he's got, what, 14 villagers forward? This is a lot of idle time. Like, the worker efficiency right now is 22% for Margugu. So... He's caused a lot of havoc on this side, but I it's surely it's not worth it. As T90 goes for a wall to the TC so Margugu can't get around and lame his wood line. Eagle goes down finally. He's got access to these berries. Villager's still looping around here. There's no entry point there. T90 needs to finish this. You need to finish this. Will she start working on this? She will. And he goes for a gate and a house. Great. Great wall there. Margugu loses another vill. T90's in a great position here, honestly. We look at Margugu's house, or his home. He's out of zebra. Actually, he's not. There's two there, but he's onto the berries now. T90 going for farms. And he's still got so many vills forward. It's actually insane. It's, it's not worth it at all, folks. I think this is an overcommitment, to say the least. From Margugu. T90 popping off right now. It, it looks more like Margugu is overcommitting. <laughs> T90's done a good job saving bills though. For sure. Okay, he's got a decent amount of farms now. Six farms. Remember, you can't really access this uh, these berries with... Many more than these three villagers inside. And Margugu's actually walled those vills in. And he continues to wall these vills in. But T90 has three vills in here. And Margugu only has one. And now T90 is the one walling him in. <laughs> and now T90 goes for a wall over here to stall this out. And this dude in here is going to die. Margugu now attacking the mill. T90 maybe needs to think about repairing that a little bit. He's sending more vills forward. He's going to try and attack the berries, potentially. Or is he going to try and wall these in and trap them? I think he's going to try and trap them in here. Margugu should know this is happening, though. Worker efficiency is still bad for the Frenchman. And now T90 can come over here and try and access some more of these berries. But, of course, we have two more villagers coming in. Look at the food counts here. We got 33... With three villagers queued from Margugu. And we have 320 with a villager queued from T90. So he should be able to go up to Feudal Age faster. I guess the question is, do you want to go up to Feudal Age right now? Because <laughs> you're going to need all of your attention focused on the villager battles. N another villager dies. Three villagers forward chasing this weak one. Margugu trying to wall that in. But this villager... It might survive. I think it's going to survive. Nope. That man comes back for the action. And one more goes down. Tristan needs to get away. 14 villagers there for Margugu. Two villagers only left for T90 coming forward. Kills the other zebra. And T90 is now coming over here. And he's going to snipe a vill. It's a good pick from him. Unless Margugu can wall this in. Nope. And he's on the way to the feudal age. This is 33 vills to 29. One player on the way to Feudal, the other with 67 food in the bank, and villagers still running forward. This is over, it feels like. There's the barracks already for T90. He's on gold, so probably going to archers here. If you play Sakatra, do you ban this map? On controller player, I, I play this. Yeah, I like the insanity. 
Feels like on Sakatra, as long as you commit to it, you can get away with like any strat. You just have to have the balls to commit to it. Saying that, this is a little bit, uh, this is a little bit of an overcommitment from Margugu. There we go, T90 fighting over here. T90 has a lot of farms set up, 11 farms. He could actually just go FC, honestly. <laughs> well, it wouldn't be fast, but he could click up to castle. This fill is going to go down. Yep, she's dead. Oh, another one might follow here. Two villagers dead. T90 is not going to be able to clear that one up. Town Watch on the way. Archery Range on the way. Feudal Age on the way for Margugu. Call an ambulance. Yo, dig big. Not for me, T90. Thank you for the seven months, dude. Indeed. And T90 is going to go into uh, Archers. Fuck you, Riley. I made your and he's going to get the wood upgrade, but he's losing more Vils here. Villager lead is now in Margugu's T90 favor. Legend, T90 legend, T90 legend, T90 legend. Exactly, Kasaro. Thank you for the six months, dude. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Does this Vil go down? I think he does. I think he dies. Yep, T90 snipes him. And another villager from him goes down, but now there's an archer here. So Margugu's got to be really careful. That blacksmith is not up yet. Second archer range on the way from T90, but he has no access to gold here. And he's probably going to... I think this archer range is a mistake. I don't think you need two archer ranges. Oh, he has gold up here. Okay, that's fine. So maybe not a mistake if he has access up here. Sending this one forward. There's a ton of weak villagers in the eco from Margugu. So he's got to be very careful about this archer. Especially once it has fletching. Okay, Feudal Age is in. Kasaro, thank you for the five gifted, dude. Damn, man. Thank you so much. That bill's going down. That bill's dead. It's dead. Thank you so much, man. And Ian, thank you for the 12 months, man. It's been a year. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, meanwhile, on this side, Margugu is attacking the tower that T90 made over here, but he's bringing archers. This is only a matter of time. There's three skirmishers in the queue here from the Frenchman. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. And it's a tower there from Margugu. Okay. And he's got a lot of weak vills here, but he manages to save one. He quick walls it out. Still weak villagers on the wood line. He's pushing this army away with skirmishers. Why is it playing an, uh, an alert for every single sub here that was gifted? That's kind of weird, honestly. Kind of weird champ. T90 is about to click up to Castle Age. He's got the market now. He lost both the archers back here. Blacksmith now for Margugu. He's going into some eagles. And uh, T90. Clicking up soon. Villager count is 34 for Margugu and 36 for T90. After all of this stuff, it's only a two villager difference. And Castle Age is on the way. Castle Age is on the way. And look at the resource bank there for Margugu. It's not what you want to see if your opponent is going Castle Age. And if he's walled on the on the other side and he's got a tower on his gold. This is definitely not what you want to see. He's only got 200 food in the bank. 75 gold. Still a ways away from clicking up to Castle. T90 doesn't have that many archers. So his army count is not up there. But as soon as he's in Castle Age, he can go Knights. He can go Siege. He can go high impact units and start pushing this stuff back. I honestly think Knights are fine here. Just a couple Knights. Get the first armor upgrade. 
Get a stable down. Send some knights into the eco from red. Look at all these weak villagers. You could kill so many. Or you could just deal with the skirmisher eagle army. Either or. I think you're kind of dealing with it already, though, to be honest. And yeah, there's the stable. First armor upgrade, stable. Like, this army can't really do anything to you. So why not just send some knights forward? Margugu now going for a market. He's thinking about Castle Age. I never thought he would be in a position to go Castle Age. So credit to him. C90 will get an archer here. That's a great pick. Where's T90's gold though? Right here. This is fine. This is fine. Okay, T90 reaches Castle Age, goes for a knight immediately. Knowing Tristan, though, Tristan is a big army prioritizer. Tristan is not a big eco raider. He's an army, he's a sweat lord. So he sees this army and he's going knights because he thinks, I need to counter skirmishers. He's not thinking, I could easily get a bazillion kills. But the skirms died to the tower over here. Doesn't see the ones over here. So he is going to go for it. Okay. And the tower from Margugu is going to be... Is it going to be in time? I don't think it is. He now he shouldn't waste time on this villager. He's wasting time. He's wasting time. He could have denied this. He wasted too much time over there. And he would never... He would never send this knight under the TC. Never, ever, ever send it under there. Doesn't have the balls to send it under there. He's going to try and keep it safe. And he's going to keep his knights back here. Army does nothing for him. It causes a little bit of idle time. Killed one villager and then died to the tower. I think, I think a little bit too passive. Actually, way too passive with his early Castle Age army. Knights are coming in now. He's looking for this main army from Margugu. He's going to lose his final crossbow. There go all the crossbows he had. He'll take out a villager here. And he'll commit against this. But he's sitting under towers. So that's not great. And finally, okay, here he goes. He's sending the, the knight in here. And look at that wood line. There's so many weak villagers. Margugu saw that, though. Gate walls it off. He's still in a great position, guys. 42 villagers against 36. He's going for siege now. Going for a monastery. Should be able to clear up these walls here. Get access to that gold. And he... He is going into Knights, which uh, feels pretty good against what Margugu has right now. So the Monastery will be able, the Monks will be able to grab some Relics. They'll also be able to heal up the Knights from these raids. So it's going to be good value there. They won't be super effective against the army that Margugu is going for. But uh, healing the Knights will give you a lot of value here. Mangano coming forward. This is a decent amount of knights. Nine knights on the field. Bloodlines coming in for T90. If he gets the plus two armor, ooh, baby. Feels pretty good. But Monk's on the way out too from Margugu. So he could potentially convert these knights and then use them to snipe the siege from T90. One villager goes down for the Frenchman. Three villagers go down. Doesn't have plus two armor, so can't comfortably sit under TCs and stuff. But he can sit under towers with plus one. And he's going to come in here and almost kill... <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Bring him back! Bring him back! Bring him back! Heal him up! Oh, this is going to take forever. And he loses a Mangonel there. What an idiot. No, I think, I think he's probably kicking himself. I think he meant to to pull the Banganals back, and he, yeah, it's not the greatest. Great micro there from Margugu, though, to split around that. Kills the repairing villager. T90 trying to attack around there. He's got a scorpion, so Margugu needs to run away. Margugu also going for a Manganel, and T90 expanding out this way now. Nilly, thank you for the uh, the 20 months, my friend. I guess I can turn this back on again. 
It was playing an alert for every single sub. I don't know if it's because I updated OBS or what. All right, monk converting a knight. That's not enough monks, though. If you're going to go for mangonels, you need more than that, I think, for sure. And Tinani is just going to run right through. Clear these mangonels. He does... Margugu does have a knight, though. A converted knight to kill the mangonels. He's going to lose this knight. But he killed one Manganel, and as long as he splits around this, he should be fine, but that's a big shot. It's a big shot from T90. And he has the plus two armor now. Even though his knights are weak from his own rocks before. Yo, Urfafo, thank you for the two months. Vascarius for the 12, Northern Hoser for the six, and of course, Shinchi for the 25, and damn, dude. T90 is going to clear most of this with that plus two armor. Kind of getting tickled by these towers now. And it's 49 villagers for T90 to 33 for Margugu. Both players using the market. Margugu, no response to this. He's got a monk on the way, but it's a ways off. And he doesn't have any siege coming out either. <laughs> Vils are coming back out for the gold. This is game number one. T90's up one nothing. We're gonna we're gonna mark it right here. Bop. And if he loses from this position, we are very disappointed. Cause he shouldn't. Right? Surely you can't lose from this. He's healing up his knights again. He's so passive. Just yeet. Just yeet it. You got so many knights. Yeet. <clears throat> yeet. He's let Margugu build up quite a few crossbows again. Gonna get some knights converted. Then the knights will turn around and go directly towards this mag. And Altinandi trying to deal with that now. He's coming in here. He's gonna be able to snipe a monk and a second monk there. This Mangano will go down. He's not converting this knight, unfortunately. Crossbows are micring around the towers. He's got a knight attacking the monastery, one attacking the blacksmith, not attacking the crossbows. Still, with plus two knights, you should be fine here. You probably just patrol in and hope for the best. There is a Mangano garrison in there, but knights are on patrol outside. They will be able to see that, and there's nowhere for Margugu to run. Got this wood line in the back that T90 can't get into. It's also got this gold over here that could be hit. But uh, he has no army to support any of this. T90 goes for a second TC. Wow, T90 about to make 2 0. This is the 1 0 that I put up there three minutes ago because this game should never. He should never lose this game. So I one owned it, or it's a preemptive. It's a preemptive 1 0. I, I have so much faith. I'm a believer. Okay? I have so much faith in him that I put it up there already. Why? Like, hmm. Yeah. I have so much faith in him. I think he's going to win for sure. <clears throat> Why doesn't he just send it? Just fucking send it, dude. You're just like, you're giving him so much time to delay this. Send it. That was a good shot, though. Oh, my God. That was a, that was a filthy shot with the dying Manganel. Send it. Make a ram. Do something. I mean, he's good. Uh, uh, to be fair, he's playing it safe. There, he added a second TC. 
He's he's making the mill now. And he's sending more knights to the gold. That's fine. Margugu is still hanging on though. He still has four crossbows left and he's got 23 vil like also why is Margugu continuing to play this game? Why does T90 have a score? Isn't this the same game? I gave him the what? <coughs> Fuck me. <clears throat> I gave him the uh the one nothing cuz I believe in him so much. Like he must be he must be so confused here on what Margugu has. Right? We can obviously we can see this. And he can almost see this, that Margugu has no economy. And he's still consistently letting him build up army over and over and over again. He's going he's building up stone for a castle. I think he's in the weird state of the game where like you know it's over, but the opponent isn't resigning, so you're not really playing at 100% anymore. You're just kind of sitting there. You're like in a waiting room, you know? Is this Low Elo Legends? No. He's played well. He's played well. He's played consistently. He's played safe. And he's going for the castle on the hill. Margugu should resign now. What is he playing on for? We don't know. There we go. And T90 takes it. The first game, T90 up 1-0. Big. <clears throat> he played great. Yep. Margugu sent uh, the villagers in fast. T90 got access to the, the berries, and then they fought over that for a very long time. Got his farm count up. Walled up on this side, so Margu couldn't mess around with his wood line. Walled up on this side as well. Went out to this goal, got a tower down. It was a great play from T90. Maybe he could have finished it earlier, but he played consistently. He played safe. It is a tournament game. He took the steps he needed to put himself in a winning position, and we appreciate that, okay? Not as much as I appreciate a good yeet, but we appreciate him playing safe. Can you talk about sneak attacks for a bit? Can you stop being weird for a bit? Better eco for T90. Better KD for T90. Clearly. Look at that APM. Oof. <laughs> Who's we? <laughs> All right, T90 up one nothing, folks. Is this it? Hey, there we go, bop. It's like that other character from Kung Pao as I see people quoting it in here. We trained T90 wrong as a joke. <laughs> What was his name again? What was that character's name again? All right, game number two. Here we are. And Margugu has gone for Lithuanians and T90 has gone for Bohemians. And we speed up through the initial process of the game and now we are back at normal time here. T90 already bringing in his elephant. He does not want it to get lame. Same with Margugu. And uh, both are exploring each other's bases. T90's berries are a little bit far forward. Margugu's are really far forward. And his golds are on this hill here. He does have a gold over here, though, which should be nice. And his zebra are pretty close to his base, which is fine. T90 also has a gold over on this side and then two over here. And the zebra are fairly close as well. So should be okay. The problem for T90 here is going to be stones. Stone forward, stone forward. Meanwhile, for Margugu, stone forward, and stone non-existent. 
Wait, is this a neutral? Is this a neutral stone? Do you only get one stone on Socotra? Or is he missing one? Or am I blind? Oh, oh my god, oh my Jesus. Dude, it's blending in with the outskirts of the map. What the hell? He's got, at least he's got a path here. He can access it. He's never gonna find that though. He's gonna be like, where the fuck is my stone? That's actually super nice, but you have to, you have to notice it. All right, T90 lames the zebra. He lames three of them. Meanwhile, over here, he's chasing a villager. Margugu has the scout there as they dip and duck and dive around the relic. Um, so with that scout there, maybe he can save the villager, but T90 has his as well. Give me a delicate dance back, and T90 doesn't even want to waste any time with it. Margugu sniping this final zebra. T90 going out for the kill again. Takes a hit. Now his scout is lower HP, so can't really do scout v scout here. He's going to have to get the villagers involved. And he also has escape with this villager. And he's going for a scenic property up on the hill here. Margugu has gone for a mill around the zebra. So he's going to take all these carcasses. T90 is lamed. And this isn't the worst thing in the world. They're pretty close to the mill there. And T90 also... Going to pre-wall in his berries. He knows what happened last time. Margugu once again sending villagers forward for this. Now with Lithuanians, you have a lot of food in the bank when you start off. So he's got six villagers queued. Um, and he, his zebra didn't really get lamed all that badly. So he should be in a fine position in terms of food eco. Going to take this. Is he going to mill this? Are you for real? He's taking all this food. He's like, no, 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 no. I'm not going to let you go up for this. I'm going to take it. T90 now sending villagers out that way. T90 also sending another villager out this way. He could potentially wall this uh, these berries without Margugu noticing. So that could be a problem for the Frenchman. T90 walling behind this. Good recognition there. Good awareness. Surprised Margugu didn't have anything near here to let him know this was happening, but I guess with Lithuanians and when you send so many villagers forward, um, you don't really need to go out to the berries that, that early, especially if you're milling these deer or zebra over there. I like this, though. T90's going to struggle for food big time. He can only get five villagers on here. That's not bad. Um, and all the zebra are going to be taken. By Margugu. There's still some over here, but not too much food left on these. Probably like 300 food over here. 250 or something like that. Are you casting Return of the Clans? Uh, I've been casting the odd match in Return of the Clans. Yeah, I did WWP against AM the other day, which was fun. That's on my YouTube now. Uh, I was planning to do the Argentina-Brazil game yesterday, but then they rescheduled for four hours later. I don't know if there's a match today. I'd love to do more tournament matches today. I've been uh, I've been really enjoying... Like, like, you know, I hear people saying AoE2 competitive scene is, like, dead or whatever, but we have so many tournaments going on right now. It's hey, actually no, ridiculous. Like, sure, care. they're not S-class or... S-rank tournaments but there's a lot of competitive uh stuff going on right now it's really great bye tone thank you for the prime gaming dude in a we two there are almost never not tournaments going on well recently i i think you should say a we two de all right so margugu on the way to the feudal age he's gonna be there 40 seconds faster than Tristan. Also has a villager lead. He's killed one villager from Tristan. And Tristan has a minute and 10 seconds of idle TC time. Yikes. <laughs> Yo, Chifrub, thank you for the nine months, dude. We just had a kid together. Not taking care of it. You can deal with that. Margugu trying to get access to the berries here. He needs the food income. He's got no farms. And Tristan says no. No to what? No, no. 
No to... I don't know. When did you start casting? Uh, I started casting custom scenario tournaments in 2013. And that was because, uh, as most things happen, you know, it's not because I had a dream to become a caster or anything like that. It was because there was no one else <laughs> that was willing to do it. <laughs> and then I started casting RM in probably 2014. And then I met Tristan in like 2015. Okay, big villager fight here. And there's an archer already there from Margugu. He's got another one on the way and Tristan's sitting at 22 villagers. He's just now going for his archer range. The mill goes down and another villager will likely die here for T90. No, he's going to save that. He's going to save it. He's going to go for a blacksmith over here. Tower on the gold. Food eco is still looking rough for him. He can't access those berries. Margugu can get these berries over here once he clears up the walls. And T90 is going to have to set up some farms in the back here. It's going to be really difficult for him, though. Can't really set up over here because they can be ranged. So he has limited space. Does he mill these? Okay. <laughs> he really... He finds that wall very offensive. He does not like the he does not like the cut of its jib, and he's going to kill this palace. Well, I can understand this one, so you set up a mill here, but uh, he's going to attack that one, and now he's going for a house over here. So probably going to lame all of this gold and stone and whatnot. Getting fletching as well. Archers trying to run through, but there is no gap. They could sit back here, which would be very annoying for T90. And there's a tower over here, and he's going to tower these and cut off two of the farms. Remember, food eco is what we talked about for T90. That's the most important thing for him right now. He could go wood and gold and maybe try and buy his way up to Castle Age, but it's going to be extremely expensive. <gasps> Meanwhile, T90 looping around with some archers. Margugu needs to go for a skirmisher to deal with that. He's got one archer over here. T90 has fletching. So does Margugu. And he's going to loop back around. And try and take care of these. He should be able to wipe up this army. Pull the villagers back and you're fine. Tower is ranging those. T90 needed to delete three farms. So he's only got two farms. That's his entire food eco. And he actually bought some stone. He knows how important this position is. He's going to go for a counter tower right here. Blacksmith going down. Archers looping around this way. Can't really deny this tower because the TC is within range. Don't... What? Please tell me he canceled that farm. Was that auto farm? Did he accidentally click the expired farm thing? Oh, that sucks, dude. That sucks. I, I'm sure he's more tilted at that than any of this stuff over here. He is more tilted about that than any of the other shenanigans, villager fights, anything. And now he's going over to engage against this, but he thought it was villagers garrison in there. It's actually archers. So Margugu is going to be able to probably kill some of T90's villas. Probably going to be able to take down this tower. One villager dead over there, and the villager count right now is 32 to 31. It's not as big of a difference as I thought. Margugu is slightly housed there. And uh, T90 is still trying to defend this position. He's buying food now, so he's thinking Castle Age. He's thinking, I need everything on gold. Need to get to Castle Age. I can get some siege or monks on the field and push out this way. It's going to be tough. Lost another villager repairing. You can't take your eyes off this, especially with Archer's Garrison in there. You cannot take your eyes off your repairing villagers. These builds from Margugu are really weak, and he's going to lose one now. He doesn't lose that one. Should probably garrison some archers in this tower, which he's doing. I think T90 wins the tower war here. He's only got 18 stone left. But there's only one villager forward to repair from Margugu. And yeah, Margugu just abandons that position. He's got archers over here. Can't really sit there. But these archers can sit here. And it's another tower on the wood line. Both players banking res. T90 still buying food. Still trying to go up to the next stage. Here's the market for Margugu. 
He's gone for farms at the front here. And he can farm over here now that the tower is cleared up too. Can't quite. These are just sitting outside of range. Oh my goodness. Oh, he almost got another farm lame there. Look at, do you see it? Margugu see that and immediately turn back to try and lame that. <laughs> if anyone was watching Tristan's stream, how tilted was he when the tower lamed that farm? I would imagine he was quite tilted. Even though it's such like a low impact thing in the game, I, it's just one of those things. Tower behind the wood line is going to be so annoying. Well, he can simply move over here, right? There are archers here, though. So maybe they can't sit here, but they can maybe range villa. No, they can't really. Markugu is on the way to Castle Age. Tristan is also on the way to Castle Age. Nine archers on the field for Margugu. He's playing as Lithuanians. I think T90 sees this army. No, he doesn't. Keskala villager. Are you going to try and chop wood back here? Yeah. He retasked it. T90 deleted the farm. Tower didn't kill it. Okay. That was good for him then. He's going to get another farm lamed here. Bop. Villagers coming back this way. It's going to be another tower on this wood line. T90 just got to set up a lumber camp back here now. He can't counter this. And he has no stone, so he likely can't. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What about, what about, whoa. That's not going to be in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah, actually, actually might be in range with Bodkin. It actually is going to be in range with Bodkin. So maybe that's a good tower. Maybe he counted it out. Archer's going down on this wood line. Villager surviving with one HP. That's one fortieth of a woman. Villager. <clears throat> and it's double monastery for T90. Siege workshop for him too. Archer's still chilling over here. Triple monastery for T90. He's running out of gold. So he needs to secure this gold over here. Or he needs to come forward for this gold. He will have a siege workshop to try and do that. I'd love to see Margugu. Ah, even a stable here is bad though, because there's so many monks, right? Love to see him have something though. Maybe siege workshop of his own to deal with the siege. Crossbows from T90 trying for a counter attack. Villagers will run away. I love the outpost over here from Margugu, giving him vision on these uh, these sneaks from T90. The problem for T90 is going to be this gold situation. Got a Manganel coming out now. Margugu will go for a siege workshop. Okay. And T90 is going to gold. This guy is picking away. He's going for a mining camp there. He's got the Manganel to defend this location. Margugu could make a tower here. And I... Oh! Oh! T90 looping all the way around with these. The villagers need to retreat. Great move from him. He's going to secure this gold position. With the Manganel with the crossbows. Give some time. If he didn't loop around with those, Margugu could have gone for a tower right here. And cut that off. But this is good. This is good from T90. The back here. Tower is still ranging the wood line. T90 did locate his uh, lumber camp on the other side of that wood. And another outpost here for Margugu. Villager count 40 for Margugu. 39 for T90. And can you tell that he wants gold? I think he wants gold. He's getting sanctity now. Siege is on the field for Margugu. Another Manganel coming out from T90. Margugu going for houses all over the place. Great attack round from him too. Great attack round T90 not noticing that in time. 
loses the second Mangonel. Margugu's line of sight. He knows everything that T90 is up to. Just one outpost over here. Y'all have control over all of the map. And look at this. There's, it, it, there's no confusion for him. He knows exactly what the strategy is. Now he just has to counter it. Dodges away from that attack round. Crossbows are getting close. Attack round from Margugu misses. Same with the one from T90 on the archers. Manganel's pretty weak. Margugu has three villagers forward to repair as well. And T90 is going to have to be really careful here. If he loses this Manganel and loses these monks, it's all over. He does have redemption though. He just completed redemption. And the Manganel, oh, it gets converted and immediately turns on his own allies. And all but one of Margugu's crossbows go down. That was an excellent play from T90. Redemption just converted. It, or just completed, and then it converted. Crazy stuff. Great play there. And now it's a stable archer range from Margugu. 47 to 41 villagers. But we've seen these all-in monk plays work with Bohemians before. Probably wants to grab this relic, actually, and he's doing that right now. What an attack ground. What an attack round from Margugu. That was a ballistic missile strike. Right there. Holy. Maximum range attack round. He's going to be getting this Mangonel converted. Crossbow's getting converted now. Switches to the Mangonel at the last second. Great play. And converts two crossbows. So he lost a monk there. But he switched the monk from the crossbow. It was charging up there. And he switched it to the Mangonel at the last second. And he got the other two crossbows. Really, really great. From T90. I'm really impressed, man. His monk micro has been has been superb so far. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity tax break just for hanging out with you. When will we see Marauder in a tourney eating it? Yo, Sharp. I I eat it all the time, dude. I yeeted it in Wandering Squires Cup. And I built a lumber camp that you couldn't drop the wood off to. <laughs> so maybe not for a while. <laughs> <laughs> All right, scouts now on the field for Margugu. Going to be able to clear up this Mangonel. T90 trying for the attack round. He's still got monks backing this up. He's only got... Yeah, he's got eight monks. They're just not together. Okay, now he's bringing four more. And there's the second siege workshop for him. It's a Mangonel over here, Garrison. And now he needs a siege workshop over here. I don't hate it. You don't have to produce from both, but this one is in a better location. Mangonels take a long time to run over to the other side of the map, so you got to be careful with them. Oh, this could be really bad for T90. He's going to convert the crossbows. He's giving up on the Mangonel. Gets a shot there. Monk's going down, though. The scouts are doing work. Mangonel coming from the other side for T90. And he's going to have to run away for the with the monks. And that was an expensive loss. That was extremely expensive from him. How many monks did he lose there? Like six? Also, almost has enough uh, stone for a castle. Scouts are almost dead. 52 villagers for Margugu. 49 for T90. Crossbow's coming forward. Buy some stone. Yep. Here's the 100 stone. And there's the castle. And it's going to cut off the gold for Margugu. He can always go over here. But a castle in the middle. And the ability to make Hussite wagons... Pretty dangerous. Okay, he's converting the scout. Does he get the scout before it wipes up his monks? That's the question. And he does get the scout, but all the monks go down. Still, there's a scorpion and a mangonel here to deal with these archers. And the castle will not be denied. Margugu needs to leave. T90 is getting himself in a great position here. Margugu, though, with a castle of his own on this side. Six more monks in the queue for T90, by the way. Where's the gold from him? He's almost out of gold over here. I think he needs to take a position over on this side. He needs to start taking these golds from Margugu. On this side, Manganel going down. Another Manganel dying here. Scorpion still shooting Vils randomly <laughs> underneath the TC. Crossbow's now getting converted. 
and more monks on the field. And my man is taking the berries. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He's got like 15 bills taking berries here. <laughs> T90 berries. And there we go. Mergugu is shifting over here to the gold. I think both players' focus should probably be over on these golds. And indeed, T90 is coming forward. I think he's going to place a tower here. Or does he place a TC? I don't think you can fit a TC. I think it's going to have to be a tower. The problem is going to be wood, as he has only four on wood currently. These towers are super annoying now. He's going to have to set up wood eco over here. Crossbow's going down over in this side. Villagers from both players dying over here. My man needs a lumber camp over on this side. And look at the prices. The wood price is not that bad, as uh, Margugu is selling wood for gold and T90's buying it. The stone price is expensive though and the food price is expensive as well. Hussite wagon on the field. This army is pretty deadly. He can always convert the house and simply make his way in. Margugu can't attack on this side. He's got to focus on this side but he doesn't have the army for it. He's thinking about maybe going imp. Zero on food with a thousand food in the bank. TC is idling this entire time and he's just trying to sell Sell, sell, sell. Get yourself to Imperial Age. Maybe get some trebs on the field and take out this castle. T90 now has access to a ton of gold on this side. <laughs> dude, they're, dude, they're just going back and forth with the market. T90 is like, ooh, prices are better. And Margugu is like, ooh, prices are pretty good. Mom wrote me two Halloweens ago. Shut the fuck up or I'll take it to Twitter. That's it, Wagon. Just going, nice just going for a stroll here. Nice throw. No, man. He's come back. He's come back in this game. And there's a tower on the gold. It's a great tower. It's going to be able to shut down that gold income. Margugu is on the way to Imperial Age now. T90 attacking the TC. Oh, two, another Manganel coming. Oh, my God. If he sees Margugu repairing this TC, he should dive in. Dive in, because he can take out the MTC. I wonder if he watched the dark set yesterday, too, because he's kind of walling these Mangonels in here. Kill it! Kill it. Kill it. Dude, Margugu has no bills nearby to repair. And he canceled it. He's going for another town center over here. He canceled it. Smart. 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 There's no way he can... Not against that army. There's no way he can defend this. <laughs> He's going for more over here. T90 should take these farms. My man has just these farms. He has no wood in the bank. Mill this shit. And take it. This is a crazy game. So, what does Margugu do in Imp? With no gold. He can't access this. He's got... He still didn't... Ah, he didn't even notice this stone, bro. <laughs> he never took it. <laughs> he didn't notice it. It's blending in. It's camouflaged. It's hidden. <laughs> so he's got no gold in the bank. He's got 40 on wood. And he's going for farms right now. Ideally, he wants a treb. To take out this castle. But uh, he can't make any army to back it up. Oh, T90, don't attack around your own monks. Bro! Oh! <laughs> it wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be worse, to be honest. That was so close. That was so close. Buying a castle? I don't know about buying a castle here. I think he... Does he suspect Margugu is on the way to him? Probably, because he hasn't seen any army. I think Tristan probably wanted to go up to Imperial Age, but he, bu he did buy himself a castle for 207 gold per, per pop. For stone, by the way. And he's going to place it over here on the farms. And I guess Margugu doesn't have the eco to make really more than one treb. So even against one treb with rams and a castle, this one should be fine. He's going to cut off all this eco, and he's killing this TC. 
Margugu goes for a treb, but there's nothing he can do against this army. Can't deny this castle. It's going to take him forever to take it out. And his farms will be cut off. And I think he calls the GG here. And I think it's 2 nothing for T90. After such a rocky start and being completely surrounded. Great monk micro from him. Great pushback. TC will fall. Villagers will fall here. 44 vils for Margugu. 65 for T90. Margugu fights on. Just like he did last game. There's no hope. Even T90's even chopping wood in his base. Has he taken these farms? He has not. Has he taken this stone? No, he didn't notice it either. <laughs> that stone is in the dumbest place I've ever seen. Fuck you all. Your lives are so sad. I get a charity. Oh, three more bills. Rams coming in now for the trebuchet. Margugu yeeting against the Rams. He's not afraid to attack with Vils. We know this. And now, oh, God, he's come. He's a coming. He's coming. What an attack ground there from T90 on those scouts. And he gets the rest of them, too. What the? Who is this man? That was a great attack round. I mean, even if Margugu wipes up all this, he's still dead, but that was impressive stuff. Okay, so my man is sitting at 34 villagers. Bonjour, darkness, mon old ami. Jalet. To see you again. <clears throat> one treb, one hope. Yep. <laughs> yep. The Rams are coming in from T90. Margugu is back on gold here, folks. Back on gold. He's got zero wood in the bank, seven food, 44 gold, and five stone. <laughs> T90 is not, is, he has 22 monks. He's still making monks. He's going for a tower here. He's just locking down these golds. Hussite wagons. These Hussite wagons alone can probably kill everything. And Margugu says, you will not take down my one unit, my treb, my everything. <laughs> And T90 is like, I take that challenge. I accept that. Send all the monks to try and convert it. T90 says, I just need your vills. And he's even escaping with a relic here. Converting the economy for Margugu. <laughs> Castle is being repaired. Villagers going down, which means these can target the trebs. I don't know why I said Trebs. I meant Treb. And Margugu calls the GG and says, good luck next, man. What a series. And what a performance by T90 taking it 2-0. Great monk micro. Great attack rounds from him. Um, great positioning from him. Really, really good stuff. He had some moments there, like when he attack rounded his monks. But it's so tough to keep up in a, in a game like this. A crazy game where you're looking everywhere, right? Constantly monk microing. You're going to have those missteps. But he played, he played amazing. Played really great. You think he lost by underestimating him? No, I don't think so. I think he lost by maybe... <sighs> let's, let's look back through that game. He got the towers up in a good position. He had the archers running around. Um... He had a good engagement against the monks with the scouts. I think it came down to Manganel Micro, honestly, and conversions. The timing on stuff. Right as Margugu was going to push this away from T90 on this side, he got absolutely flattened by that one Manganel shot that got converted, right? Maybe he needed a tower on this gold. I think, I think he needed, if he lamed this stuff, I think T90 might have lost. 
He had this position for a very long time. You can see the mining camp. Imagine he stonewalls these golds while his villagers were over there. Um, and T90 can't shift out there. So he's off of these golds here. He has like what? His four monks and a mangonel. And then he has to sell everything for gold because he has no other income. Also, if Margugu noticed this stone, I think it would have been different. <laughs> He clearly walled around here, but I don't think he noticed it because he was taking every other resource, but he never touched this stuff. Needed to go full scouts. I don't know. T90 had crossbows. I don't know. And Margugu had no foodico either. He was bare bones foodico. So going full scouts, I don't, I don't know. Is this an upset win for T90? Uh, no, I think these guys are around the same level. I would think maybe T90 would be a little favored. I don't know. I'd have to look at the at the ladder, but I think they're right around the same level. They probably play each other all the time. Great stuff.